All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a Duramax number one, Duramax number two. The Duramax that I'm looking for is at the end, but before we get to it, let's go check out this one. What is up, guys, and welcome back to the vlog. Holy cow, my hair is crazy. Back at it with switching from a monster to a Red Bull. But let's zoom out, my face is too ugly. So right now I'm on my way to the GMC dealership in Augusta, it's called the Master Buick GMC. And the reason for that is there is a 2013 LML, LML Duramax Denali HD. So I'm about to go check it out. I may even trade this in and get it because that's been a dream truck of mine and I'm at the point where I'm like why not like if it's a dream truck like why wait so if they give me a decent deal for my Duramax decent offer for my Duramax and then they can come down on the price a little bit on their Duramax we'll go from there and if they have a 2019 GMC Sierra I'll do a review so let's go head over there and uh, check it out I've been looking to buy like an LMM right now as well um, not not together Mainly because I want to sell my Duramax, LOI Duramax. I want to I want to do a LMM Duramax build, and then I want to do an LML Duramax build. So I kind of I want to show you guys like different stages of like build. Uh, like you may be wondering, hey, if you're selling your LM, LLY, why aren't you getting an LBZ and do a build on that? Mainly because like it's a, it's like essentially really similar to an LOI and an LMM. So like it's it, it's like right in the middle. So like. It would be like a extremely, like, the reason why I want to go to LMM is because it's a different body style. Uh, that's, reason, that's the reason why I want to sell my LOI because although I love this classic body, I've had two classic bodies, 1500 and this, so I'm kind of ready for something new. So um, I may just go straight to an LML and then eventually like buy another LL, LMM and like do a comparison video and have, have two Duramaxes. But we'll see guys, we'll see what kind of offer they give me and what kind of, um, uh, what, what happens. So stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a Duramax number one, Duramax number two. The Duramax that I'm looking for is at the end, but before we get to it, let's go check out this one. Honestly, this is the body style I would ultimately want, but I can't afford it right now. They're asking 54000 Looks like it's got a fat tag lift. Probably I'll say about a five inch lift. Got some 35s. Fuel wheels. I had those wheels on my last truck, the couplers. Clean truck. Let's see if it's open. Oh man, it's open. Dang, it's got sunroof, it's loaded. I don't it's got a Denali grill, but I don't think it's a it's not a Denali. Yeah, it's not a Denali because it would say Denali right there. But yeah, like honestly. This interior is super nice. Like John has this interior, Peter has this interior, my uncle has this interior. Like, and then I'm over here driving a badass Duramax with like a really lame interior. I don't even think that. I don't even think my interior is lame. It's just slightly outdated. But it has everything that new trucks have except like AC seats. But this truck is super clean. But let's go check out the Denali that I want to get. Here she is. 2013 LMM or LML Duramax. They're asking $44,000 for this. Doesn't have a tow mirror. Doesn't have the tow mirrors yet. Ah. Uh, some grandpa probably owned it. Damn, that's got to go. That's got to go, guys. Bed cover, which is always nice. Uh, no bed liner, so I'll probably go get a uh, bed liner done from dealer options. Uh, let's look at the inside. Woo! Fully loaded Duramax, Denali, HD, sunroof, touchscreen navigation from factory. 
fancy cup holder, center console, big enough to put a laptop in it. Let's see, yeah, sunroof. It's pretty nice, I'm not sure how many miles it has. I think it's under 100. Yep, 66,000. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all, because I want to get a truck that has under 100,000 miles on it. It's got everybody's favorite wheels, the newer GMC wheels, Denali HD. Damn, I wish it had the tow mirrors, but I'll probably get the new style tow mirrors on here anyway, so it's no big deal. Denali grill. Perfect spot for a light bar. <laughs> yeah, this truck is clean. Let's go find somebody and talk to them and see what they'll offer. I'm not really sure what's gonna take for somebody to come talk to me about buying a new truck because I've been out here for about 15 to 20 minutes and I haven't had a single person come talk to me. Um, luckily, I did go over to the new lot over there and checked out the 2019 GMC Sierra, which the review should be done by the time this video gets released. And then we have another cool little feature that is, comes down as a step like that. And this right here, so check that out. But I don't know, as I was looking around, my friend texted me uh, another LMM around here in Augusta, actually in Aiken. So I may be interested in buying that. So I might just sell this and uh, buy that LMM, we'll see. But yeah, I really wanted to see that Denali HD over there, but nobody wants to come talk to me. It is Monday. I would think if you're like a salesperson, you would be grinding starting Monday. But I guess nobody wants to talk to somebody who is who looks kind of young. I don't know, just a little salty. That's it. All right. Well. Anyway, you guys. Uh, maybe I'll come back some other time and maybe do a test drive. As of right now, I'm thinking about getting that LMM. And uh, with that being said, if I buy the LMM, I'll keep it for about a year or two and then get an LMM and I guess I can do another build that way. I think that would be the best way to do it. Or that's honestly how I want to do it just because I think it'll be a lot more fun for you guys. So I'm going to try to get rid of this LOI, get LMM, and then keep it for about two years, maybe about a year, year and a half, and then sell that, get an LML. So. You guys, subscribe for that long run, okay? Because we're gonna go through two different trucks. Uh, we're gonna go all the way to LML, and then eventually we'll go to L5P. Uh, hopefully they'll have it unlocked. I think it's unlocked now, but hopefully they'll have it tuned by then. So, uh, well, let's go check it out one more time. But I don't think we're gonna go with uh, 2013 Denali HD. This was a fail. I really wanted to like test drive and everything, but can't find anybody to. So. Alright, Billy. What did we just do? Locked our manager's car in. Well, his door's in. He's not getting in his, unless he's going through the hatch. Not happening. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get a close up. Show him where the, uh, the windshield wiper's supposed to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? <laughs> You can't even see the car. That's probably far <laughs> <in the end. laughs> 
Ready to go home? Patch it up, player. Can you lift it up by your windshield? No, I'm not. It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> you lock your dri well, the driver's door probably on my plate. You can't get in that bag. Throw in the bag, Justin. Throw in the seat. No, he locked it. He's in the door. Hey, you up.